Okay, fear. First of all, um, what about fear? Uh, and um, uh, I would say that my, my ego, the ego loves fear. The ego loves fear, it loves guilt. It loves, it, those are familiar. You know, being in a state of fear, in guilt, in cravings for donuts, in pride, those feelings, the addiction lives on the payoff of being in those emotions. So your ego enjoys that, even though you might not know it. Um, the ego loves those negative states because it's like the ego's in charge. And uh, the one thing with fear is the ego, sort of the unconscious message of the fear is fear is good for you and if you stay in fear, your survival is based on fear. So fear is good and you're going to be more aware of things and fear has kept you safe. That's what the ego tells you with fear. Uh, don't let go of your fear because you need it to be vigilant and whatever. And the ego enjoys it. The ego also knows that the absence of fear will be the end of its dominion. You know, the absence of feeling fear, guilt, shame and pride means that the ego will lose its power to be in control. So, <coughs> so realize that the um, fear is, um, the ego actually enjoys fear and wants you to stay in fear. So, but also recognize that fear is a vibrational level of consciousness which will attract negativity and destruction to you. The more you stay in it, the more negative things will happen. You know, you're in fear and you're worried that you'll be kicked out of your house and you won't have enough money. So if you just stay in a state of fear for long enough and just think, oh my God, I won't have enough money, that will eventually come to materialize. Um, so it's actually, it has the reverse effect. It tells you it's good for you and then you indulge in the thoughts and then bad things start to happen if you stay in it for too long. Also, fear was my thing as well. So I got kidney failure. So your meridians start to cut off. So if you've got like a, if your meridians are associated with fear and that's down to your kidneys and you live in fear for enough years, you can blow out your kidneys. You know, so not only will you get unmanageability, but fear. So, so recognize your ego does enjoy it. Uh, and also it enjoys being in fear and then you're tuned into radio fear and you're getting all the thoughts associated with ra the radio station of fear. I'm afraid that we're going to have a recession. I'm afraid, uh, you know, I'm afraid I'm going to eat donuts. I'm afraid, whatever it is, you know, you get fear thought after fear thought after fear thought. So, to, so the thing with fear then is to know that uh, your level of consciousness is actually what protects you. The higher level of consciousness, so it's the absence of ego emotions, fear, guilt, shame and anger, which is, which is the source of life. So the more, like uh, if you're in shame, shame and guilt, which are some of the more, more de dense um, ego vibrations, like, you know, shame, I don't deserve to live, guilt, I deserve punishment, fear, you know, th um, things are going to go wrong. So as you're in those levels, you're tuned into that and destruction is coming your way. As you get into peace or acceptance or, or the time is now, it's like the miracles start happening. So your survival is actually based on being in spiritual states. It's not actually based on being in... The, but if you're in fear, the intention has to be how to transcend and go up the levels of consciousness as quickly as possible. So if I'm feeling fear, here's a few things. When I'm feeling fear, first of all, if I'm in, a, if I'm in any negative uh, ego emotion, uh, shame, fear, guilt, anger, then I automatically say to myself, and I, this actually works for me because I, mean, you know, I am like this. So I'm just going to share it with you. When I'm in an, in an ego emotion, all my thoughts are crap, yeah? All my thoughts are crap. I mean, oh, I'm in fear or I'm shame. Let me get, will, will my thinking be the best while I'm tuned into radio shame or radio fear? I'm tuned into radio fear, so all my thinking is going to come out of the radio station of fear. So it's like, you know, I've got to solve, am I going to spend, if I'm in fear today, am I going to spend today solving all my problems for my life? No. You know, it's like, I'm not going to try and solve my problem. I'm not going to go, oh, these thoughts are going to be amazing because I'm in fear. It's like, no. So it's like, 
so how do I, what do I, first of all, I, I want to go up to a higher radio station before I use those thoughts. Uh, let's say, you know, we want to try and tune into God FM and go okay. off of Radio Fear, Ego FM, that's one of the Ego radio stations. You know, and then those thoughts which, in, you know, which sort of pop in, um, uh, or those intuitions that pop in on radio, in radio God, or Radio Now, whatever it is, those are the ones, that, those thoughts, okay, let those come in, but Radio Fear, all the thoughts crap. You know, I'm, I'm afraid that something's going to happen at work. Am I going to try and work it out? No. So I'm going to do, I have to go up the radio stations as quickly as possible before I try and resolve the problem. Or, you know, or if you've got a spiritual mentor, you can tell them, they'll, they'll tell you what to do, or a group. But, okay, so if I'm in fear, then I want to, get, I want to go up the radio station. So first of all, um, I talk about feel the feelings. So fear is, is going to be a finite dose of fear. So if I just allow the fear and don't identify with the thoughts, then I can burn that f level of fear off. And then I suddenly, like, um, it might come in waves, but, you know, the fear will, will start to burn off because I'm, I'm, allowing, I'm allowing the experience of the feeling and not attaching to the thoughts. And I don't want to attach to the thoughts because the thoughts will be absolutely useless. And then the fear will pass or will pass in waves and then I'll go up to Radio God. And then that's, you know, the intuitions and thoughts from Radio God. That will be, I'm at peace now. Or, um, the other thing to do is, uh, so that's one way. If it's like intense fear, I do feel the feelings. If, the, if there's very strong component of thoughts with the, with the, with the fear, like I'm afraid, like uh, I'm afraid, um, I'm afraid I'm going to run out of money, let's say. Let's like say that's a, it's fear, but there's a dominant thought, or dominant thoughts, and I'm not going to have enough money to pay the rent. Then I might do, well, that's a, that's a very thinking one, isn't it? It's a very strong thought component. So you could do the Courts of Miracles on that. I place my fear that I'm going to run out of money into God's infinite light and love, and I pray for a miracle. I place my fear I'm going to run out of money. So you're just making that thought meaningless, as well as feeling the feelings. So it's a strong thought which has a lot of special meaning, which it tends to be hooking in. Um, you know, or I'll get sacked, or whatever it is. You know, just place that thought into God and I pray for a miracle, or I cancel my belief, I'll run out of money, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or, um, usually if it's strong fear, but if you can, you can always try, you can mix them up, try the observer. So, um, okay, or you can listen to someone, you know, I have videos on, on the observer tool on my YouTube channel, you can try listening to one of those. But, okay, so there's fear, and there's a thought, I'm going to run out of money. But what's observing that thought? What's observing the fear? Okay, there was, uh, yesterday there was just pure stillness and observing. Suddenly I got this brown envelope, and now there's fear and thoughts I won't pay the money, I won't have the money. So, but what's observing? What's observing the fear? Because that fear wasn't here, and now it's here. So is is the observer, the observer is still here. So is the observer in fear? Okay, there's this thought, I haven't got enough money. But is the observer suffering that thought? Okay, so if you can ask those questions, suddenly you can have a miracle and recognize, actually the observer of fear is not in fear. And the observer of the thought about money has no fear of, and has no worries about money. And as you get into that, my experience is when you get to that when I clear the fear, if you understand what that means, and I clear the thought, and you're, you're back in the presence of God, you're back in the now, you know, I, I know some people will know what I'm talking about. You have this feeling, it's like an intuition that all, everything's going to be okay, you know? Because I, I felt the fear out, I've gone to the observer, and then suddenly there's this thing, it's almost like a silent intuition that comes, it's all going to be okay. And then you let go, and you know, every time I get to that place, I clear the fear and the thoughts, and I get to this, it's not like God speaks to me or I'm listening to God. It's like you get this intuition, it's all going to be all right. And every time I have that vibration, it's always been all right. It's always been. And I, I'm pretty sure that people who know what I'm talking about, when they get to that place, it's all going to be all right. It always is all right. You know? But it, you know, what would happen if I didn't clear the fear and I kept those thoughts going? 
that for me would mean unmanageability and greater things going more and more wrong. That's why I need to get to the vibration. I'll, you know, and this is true. I mean, I do this. I mean, a lot of people say, like, no, no, you're in fear, take lots of action. If it's like you've got to make a decision, I, I delay the action as long as possible and clear as much of the emotion before I have to. So I want to make the action from the highest thing. They go like, um, you have to make an action in two weeks' time. So, okay, I'm not going to make the action for two weeks. I'm going to clear it and then leave it to the last minute and hopefully get to the highest level before I take the action. If you have to do something now, then you have to do something now. So that's not the optimal taking actions on extreme fear and extreme base fear thing, but you have, sometimes you have to. But if I can clear and take as much, clear and take, uh, then the miracles will, will come. So, yeah. Okay.